This is my new top and tilt uh, cylinder that I have on my uh, MX4800 tractor. And I wanted to take a, just a minute to show you how I made this cylinder. Well, I didn't make the cylinder. I adapted it down here so that it would fit uh, in place of the old control arm that was on here. So the cylinder is as it came from the factory, except it's got a uh, swivel at the top. It has a swivel at both ends, and I cut the bottom one off and added this piece that I made. But at the top, it's a one inch at the top, and I had to uh, reduce it down to seven eighths with a sleeve, and so it would fit the pin that's at the top. And then down here at the bottom, I cut that eye off, and then I had to bend this out of some quarter. This is inch and a quarter by quarter inch steel. I drilled some nine sixteenths holes in there. And actually, I made it longer than I meant to, so I just went ahead and added another hole down there, which I'll probably never use. But I had to measure out and figure out the length that I needed from here to there to make it the correct length. So to figure out how long you want this, you need to take the control arm that you have, which is actually this one over here now. So I took this one and I measured from the center of this hole to the center of the hole that I was using at the bottom, and I made it as short as I could and as long as I could. And that told me how how much I wanted this to be able to move. Now that one travels five inches. This cylinder will travel six inches. And then uh, I measured the length from where, from here to the center of the eye up here at the top. And then that told me how many inches I would need to add in order to get this hole to be, when it was fully extended, the certain length, and when it was completely shortened with that, you know, the, dis the difference between, between those so I would know how long to make this arm right here. And then I just welded it on there. I, it was a little difficult to get it lined up. Um, let me show you how I lined that up. So in order to make this cylinder, it came like this, and I had to cut this off. I just used my bandsaw to cut that off. And then I bent this piece and um, drilled some 5 8 holes through it, sandblasted it. Um, that's all pretty straightforward. But then to get it lined up, I took this piece off of the tractor and I laid it down here and mainly what I was doing was measuring what's the offset on this. So if you if you go, if you line this up right on the edge of the table and you come down six inches, it's three-eighths in. So then what I did, so to get this lined up, first I had to get the height right and I got some uh, shims up under there to get it the right height. And then I brought this square here so that got the, this front part correct. Then I measured down six inches like that, and I measure in three eighths of an inch. So I've got this at the right angle now. And so all I've got to do now is get it welded on there. Okay, so after lining up and tacking it, I just did a, a, a heavy weld around there and it's ready to go. So I've got it installed. I haven't been using it for a long time. Um, I've graded my roads with it and all that and so far it seems to be working great. I'm really uh, glad that I put this on here. It makes adjusting my um, grader blades as I go up and down the road just, it's, it's a whole different ball game now. So I've got a couple more videos out on this, kind of how I designed the whole system and um, how you might decide whether you want a top or tilt on your tractor or not. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.